Hey, this will be a video chart on TRDY. Been a very bullish stock over the past uh, week or so, and want to get this uh, chart up here so people have an idea of what's going on. Uh, been away for a little while, but I'm back now. Uh, so let's just get started with kind of what uh, occurred with this one. I right off the bat, once again, a great example of uh, preceding volume uh, before action. Actually, we could even even go back here. A big volume day, nothing really happened, and had you had patience, and I understand that's a pretty big kind of if, because it did go dormant for quite a few days, but even right here, uh, a nice little entry point for people had they noticed this volume, and then it would have finally paid off. But let's just take today, right, or uh, on this day here, you know, once again, a big uh, green volume with nice price reaction, and then obviously we know the rest is history. It just really took off from there. So just a quick example of how to always be scanning for uh, charts out there where you all of a sudden get a big surge of volume. Uh, sometimes they fizzle out, don't do anything, uh, and that's where you just keep your loss small. But in the cases where it actually goes your way, uh, like this example, you know you can see the payoff uh, really outweighs a controlled loss. So back to this chart, let's uh, just first start off with uh, the supports and resistances. First area of support was broken today, and the price managed to close above it. And this is going to be uh, valued right here at 0.012. Now I made this line skinny green because is it a support? Yes, but uh, if it doesn't hold, is that reason to freak out? No, because you can see it did close above, but not by too much. So if the price were to drop below it, uh, by no means should you go and hit the sell button or jump out any windows because you're freaking out. Um, it is a support, but it's not a huge one. Now another support level is going to be both from a technical and psychological level. And that's going to be right here at one penny. You can see on this uh, day where it went crazy, came all the way up here and hit it. And like I said, it's also just going to be a psychological le uh, level. I'll make that line a little thicker because it does have importance too. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can see that uh, the moving averages are well below it. Um, you know, we, we want to see the moving averages hold. At some point, these moving averages will catch up, and that's where the question becomes: you know, are they going to hold? Uh, you know, what price level is that at? I'm not sure, but. Uh, moving averages when the price is above them are a key level of support and in cases like this where you get such separation you know it can take a while for the moving averages to catch up but when they do uh, you do want to see them hold as support and the other support is going to be right here and why am I picking this one and why am I making this line extra thick well this is what I'm going to call kind of the must hold level and the reason for that is after this uh, initial pullback here you can see that it pulled back and bounced right off of 0 0.0066. So we'll just call it 0 0.0065. And with the price closing up this much here, I mean, that would be almost a 50% drop all the way down here. And if this is uh, another truly uh, strong bullish move here, and if the price were to come down here, I'm not saying it will, but if, then it should have no problem holding that level right there uh, as you know, that people should be looking at this as bargain prices, you know, uh, assuming this is a genuinely strong move. Uh, but, you know, with the way it's been consolidating, you know, maybe it'll drop down to a penny at most. You can see this move here barely drop down. So we'll see what happens with the next con consolidation here. But these are going to be the support levels. Now on the flip side, really, the only resistance is going to be right here, which was put in today. I'm going to leave that line skinny because, yes, it's a resistance, but with another uh, surge of volume, I don't think it's going to put up too much of a fight. I went all the way back uh, to the monthly's chart scale, and this chart is, you know, in a blue sky breakout, you know, every time it makes a new high. So uh, on the resistance side, pretty easy. We do have this one up here. Like I said, it's not going to be anything huge if volume stays strong. And then from there, it's just going to be blue sky. So if there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. And uh, we've been making some good money together with our alerts and so forth. So I'd encourage you to head to the website, sign up, and give it a try. One more time, this was TRDY. Thanks for listening.